And what happens, when you can engage your quads more, you get more speed off the floor, and that momentum can help you a little bit to the lockout. Most importantly, hands are in good health. Been moisturizing daily, as you can see from that glow glow. Hey guys, here we are back at Desert Barbell, best powerful gym in the East. We are training deadlift with chains today. So this week we've all been working with chains, teaching me to accelerate, push hard through my sticking points. Good news, I made the announcement last video that Golem is coming to Dubai. We now have a date, a rough estimate, August 24th, just in a couple of, well, just in a week or so actually, it's already the 19th as of the day of recording this. So just in a week, maximum two, it sounds like the golem will be here. And I saw some smart asses say, oh, he's not single digit body fat. Well, look again, <laughs> he is. And he's 360 or whatever he is. And he's a mammoth and he's coming to Dubai and it's gonna be exciting. Besides that, Delta of Chains, same plan as, uh, actually it's a bit different. I'm doing singles, six singles, so six sets, each single getting progressively heavier between 60 and max down at 80%. 100 pounds in chains. The idea is to move it as quickly but efficiently as possible today. Let's get to work. extra grip and keep my toes warm uh, my feet always get cold so uh, throwing these on not just for that but also rub on the bottom helps me yes a bit more traction every little bit counts and yes they are available on peelestout.com got them in all black too Chains versus bands. Chains get more instability. That's really the main difference. With bands, you don't get it moving you forward and back. That's really only pulling in one direction. But with the chains, because they're scattered, it's pulling in all directions. So it creates more instability, which makes it that much more difficult. Um, meaning, my top set of 675 with about 90 to 100 pounds of chains which would come out to 770 or so, will feel more like 850, 900 at the top because there's that instability element added to it. Just like it did with squats, bench, it feels significantly more difficult. However, if I were to use bands and make the added tension at the very top uh, an additional 100 pounds at lockout, just like it would be in chains, the equivalent, it would feel not as difficult or heavy as with chains with the same amount of weight. We're at five blues. Weight's moving good, honestly. Um, I did try having a deliberately slow uh, concentric, so not exploding, ripping the bar off the floor. So I'm trying to find that happy medium because I was doing it too slow and I wasn't getting any momentum to carry me to lockout. Uh, so I don't want to rip it too hard where I'm throwing myself out of position or too slow where I'm just expending too much energy to try to be deliberate with the takeoff on the floor. So I'm trying to find that happy medium, find that sweet spot. But the hands feel great. I've been moisturizing every day to see them glowing. That's been going well. So 
this will be my first working set where it's six blues. However much that is in kg, whatever. Uh, first working set of six, so I'm doing six singles. I'm going to increase, um, let's see, I have six sets, 60 to 80% progressively loading up. So let's see if I increase by like three, four percent in each set, that would be a good jump. So I can get to the top set right at 80% or so. But I'm not changing how much weight is on the chains. It's gonna stick to about 90, 200 pounds. Um, chains is actually a lot more manageable on deadlifts. And that's largely due because when you're standing up with the weight in your hand, like the center of gravity is really good as opposed to when you're squatting um, and the, the weight's kind of tilting left and right. It's, the chains make it a lot more difficult on the squats or the bench, you feel it doing this. But on the deadlift, not much of that's going on. It's not like pulling you forward or, or sideways so much. So it doesn't feel nearly as difficult as the added weight with chains on bench or squat. Not nearly as difficult, it's much easier on deadlift. Phase of training is really good to refine technique. I am taking what Jamal said into account. I was too hip dominant, and with the years, with the early days of powerlifting, people generally were training in gear and suits, so they'd push the hips way, way back in the deadlift because they had a suit to push into. Raw, you don't have that, you don't have a suit. So Jamal is more quad dominant as a result, and not just your feet, advise you to be more quad dominant. I push more from the center of your foot rather than the heel. So that's what I'm working on since you got me. And what happens when you can engage your quads more, you get more speed off the floor and that momentum can help you all the way to the lockout. But again, find that sweet spot where you're getting tight enough, you're not jerking off the floor, but if you go too hard off the floor, as soon as you break the ground, the bar is going to stop moving. Uh, but if you do it just right, uh, the bar doesn't stop moving, and you can use that momentum all the way to the finish line. So that's why each set is looking a bit better and better, because I mean that timing down better and getting down the right amount of force to apply off the floor, getting better at that as well, each set. Uh, this is that time of training in the program, where we refine our technique in a couple of weeks. We'll start to remove chains and bands and just start doing straight weight, which is gonna make it really fun. Okay.
importantly, hands are in good health. Been moisturizing daily, as you can see from that glow glow. Not as good as back in the city with a bomb, but joke aside, hand health is very important. Deadlifting, you tear a callus in training, you're setting yourself back several weeks just for the callus to heal and before we can pull heavy again. You tear callus at competition while well, you're having a bad day. Unless you tear it on the third attempt and you still get the lift, which never happens, by the way. You tear a callus during in a deadlift, you will miss the lift 100%. The bar begins to roll out of your fingers and you can say goodbye to having a good day. <sighs> and that's your breaking and world record in your second attempt, like I did, which was still a good day, but it could have been a great day had I simply just moisturized daily. And moisturize doesn't mean just rubbing lotion in your hands. Just put lotion all over your body. Moisturize your body. Um, it may sound silly to some of you, but I'm not the only person I've spoken to that just did not moisturize at all. You simply shower with soap, that's it. Like, <laughs> it's more common than some of you may think to just simply not moisturize any part of your body at all. Uh, but as, when you moisturize your body, you also moisturize your hands, obviously. And you can see they're not even getting bunched up. And I did six sets with significant amount of weight and there's not even any bunching in my callus. My hands literally feel soft. Uh, where I wasn't moisturizing, they were very rough and would bunch up very quickly and they would like be at the verge of tearing like, nearly every dental session, whether it was heavy or not. So, small tip, but it's important. Uh, we have some really, guys, to be honest, not that exciting session work to do. Um, but that's the stuff that will take you over to the next level not just doing the compound movements, but doing the accessories as well, training accessory muscles. It's not exciting, but you have to do it. So that's what we're doing now. First, we get the plate cleanup. Wrap up today's daily session here in Desert Barba. Good session overall. Six sets of chains, six singles. Worked up from six booze all the way up to seven and a two and a half. 42 kilograms in chains. So close to around 800 at the top, but it has some pretty good speed with it. Hands held up extremely well. Moisturizing has been making a very significant difference in my hand health. The calluses aren't bunching up or getting torn. So that's a huge plus. We're shaping up to have an excellent mock meet here at Desert Barbell on October 16th. That's the date that we're shooting for. Coach will be here. Mama Luz will be present as well. Um, I may get some guest lifters. Uh, won't be many, maybe one or two, if that at all. Mostly just myself, hitting all three lifts, squats and wraps, raw deadlifts, raw bench, new standard. Guys, for the merch, lifting gear, stuff, clothes, whatever, prlifestyle.com. And that is it for today. We're out of here. I'm dead.